So here we have one of the blue spots. Thankfully this one doesn't show up as much, but you can see another one here. And we have another one right there. And we have some white paint up here on her pants. And here, um, Oh, and she just showed me that there's some more on this side. Now, I just got done removing a spot that was here. Um, and if you go to my post, you can see the before and after there. And there's a couple little white spots here that I kind of scrubbed out as well. So, but the spot there is gone, which is great, because that was like the brightest and biggest one. So we're going to show you then how we do it. The first thing you want to do is to protect kind of the under layer of your pants. So you're going to put some... Um, like a washcloth or a small towel underneath. So that way if any paint that you're removing soaks through um, as you're removing it, which is very likely to happen, it doesn't then stain the bottom half of your pants. So you have to do it again. So this is a very smart first step on what to do. So here's our spot. And now the second step is that you're gonna take some rubbing alcohol. I have 91%. And we're going to just soak it up. So just pour it in? Pour it right on top. Pour there we go. It's going to pour out fast, so go slow, Lisa. You want to get it on that spot? Yeah, there you go. Oh, it stinks a lot, so make sure to have a door open or do it outside or turn on the ventilation fan if you have one, open a window. Um, because the smell is really bad, make sure to close the top on your alcohol. And then you're going to let it soak for just a little bit. After you've let it soak for a minute, go ahead and take a towel, a paper towel like we have will work too, and you're going to start dabbing on the stain. A little harder, Lisa. Okay, my daughter's doing it since they're her jeans. <laughs> and just dabbing? Dabbing, you scrub a little bit. You just don't want to spread it too much. Um, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, okay, keep going. Kind of scrub it, yeah, put a little pressure on it. Keep going. As you can see, it's getting a little lighter. Obviously, as you soak up some of the alcohol, it will require you to apply some more. Okay, so you can see that she's getting quite a bit off already. We're just going to go ahead and add a little bit more alcohol to it. And let it just be as soaked as you want. And then she's going to scrub it a little bit more. Just scrub ahead. Just go ahead and scrub it. Yeah. Get it in there. Okay, and this is white paint on her dark jeans, but you can see that it's slowly getting off. Right, Lisa? Mm hmm Yeah, it's coming off. And it's not too much work. It's only been like a minute of scrubbing or so. And it's definitely fading. The nice thing about it being on jeans is that, you know, maybe it can look like it's part of the distressed kind of look if it doesn't come all the way off. Or if you don't want to take the time to get it all the way off. So she's doing really well, and it's almost off. And then we're going to go ahead and continue to do this to all the other spots on her jeans. So then we're going to go ahead and treat the other spots and remove them. And that's it, guys. Just a little rubbing alcohol, which is super cheap to pick up at a drugstore, at the grocery store, or wherever. And you can remove your um, acrylic paint accidents <laughs> and spots from your jeans. So yeah, now there's just a tiny little spot left, and we can keep working on that. Okay, and now you can see that the spot is pretty much gone, right? I mean, you can't even really tell. It used to be right there. And so the spot used to be right there, and now it is gone. Obviously, we're going to wash these after we're done, removing all the little spots in her jeans, and they'll be looking pretty darn good. I would recommend washing them with cold water and your regular detergent and dry as normal. Enjoy getting those stains removed.